Well, the first thing you notice when Jacob comes to Bethel is that he's frightened, he's vulnerable, and he has to go to sleep in the out of doors. Now, we've been told before that Jacob was a man of the tents, not a man of the fields. So he is not a hardy outdoorsman in his L.L. Bean gear, getting ready for a night in the great outdoors. He suspects that he might well become the victim of demonic attack. Instead of demons, Jacob will be visited by angels. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth, with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending. There above it stood the Lord. Genesis 28, 12. God speaks to Jacob. He promises his protection and affirms that it is through Jacob and his offspring that the Holy Covenant will become the faith of a great people. Through the ages, countless generations of artists have tried to envision this scene. What did Jacob's ladder really look like? Actually, the Hebrew word for it, maslul, means a ramp. Uh, we think of it as a ladder you have to climb rungs on, but it's not that way. It's a ramp. It's a kind of a pathway up to heaven. Some have speculated that Jacob's ladder was in reality a ziggurat a step pyramid of a kind that was commonly found in the ancient Near East. Strangely, when Jacob wakes from his miraculous and mysterious dream, he makes a vow which seems to place conditions on God. If God will help and protect me on this journey and bring me safely back to my father's house, then I will choose the Lord as my God. Genesis 28, 20. Jacob makes deals. That's what he does. And he made this deal with God. He just wanted to be sure that he was well covered and that, uh, and that God understood his terms. It's a pretty amazing piece of arrogance, but there it is.